Hey guys, this is Scott with Tread Athletics. Today we're talking through a series for rotational power and range here. So this is obviously, I think, pretty important in throwing. Our ability to rotate and separate in a rotational way is pretty critical for us being able to produce velocity. Our spine is gonna be a main component of that. At first, I'm just doing a little activation here to kind of create some control at whatever end range I have. Doing some uh, med ball end range T-spine liftoffs here. Just really trying to force myself to activate and turn and kind of disassociate my shoulders shoulders over the top of stable hips here. And then taking that into T-spine pales rails, I'm just using a PVC pipe to kind of wedge myself into the wall to find a stretch where I'm finding this kind of, again, hip shoulder separation type feeling where I'm trying to force my belt buckle forward and using the pipe to kind of pull my shoulders back against that. Again, the pales rails kind of technique, I'm kind of uh, linking mobility and also a little bit of strength here at the end ranges that hopefully if we can control these end ranges, our body's gonna let us get to those positions a little bit more easily when we're actually trying to throw. So then once I've kind of opened up some range, now I'm gonna try to put a little bit of power or strength behind that. So I'm starting here with some cable stack rotational isos. I've just got the weight loaded up as heavy as it can go. And I'm really just trying to pull against this as I turn my shoulders over my hips. And then just to add a little bit of speed and power here, going banded rotational chops here. Again, if you have uh, some other type of machine like a Kaiser or something like that, that's great. But most people are probably just gonna have a band available. So something like this I found is really great where you can really just rip into it. It's not gonna go very far. It's the kind of the sweet spot of resistance there where you can really just try to go as fast as possible and chop that thing hard. And then moving into something with a maybe a little bit lighter, I can start moving a little bit faster again here. I'm using a med ball, showing a couple different variations that I might use here. Again, really emphasizing the rotational aspect. So I'm trying to turn fast here as I get back to my kind of loaded position, really focused on rotating fast and pushing the ball with some velocity there. So definitely try these drills out, give us some feedback, let us know how things are going, and we'd love to uh, share some more series with you coming up here.